in your life. What up, y'all? It's your boy Terminology. Right now, you tune into Sports Rap Live, Sports Talk, 790 AM, iHeartRadio. You know what it is. Shout out to my big brother, Bun B. Let's go. That's right, man. Shout out to Terminology and Static Selector. We are efforting to get them on tonight. We will get them on very soon as this Easter Conference Finals unfolds. Those guys have a new project dropping, and we want them to come here and tell you all about it themselves. So we will effort to get them on the show very soon. And, of course, shout out to Bun P out there on the road. Uh, but before we get into our shout-outs on Shout-Out Sundays, we're going to talk some power rankings. K-Dub has joined us, and uh, I want to get his input on what he thinks about your top five for the week, Andrew. All right. But it's brought to you each and every week by... Me. Let's you, go. the Andrew Martinez. All right. Well, let's start at number five. This is a team that's crept up into your power rankings, and they're still hanging around. They're still hanging around, but uh, it's determined to be uh, see how long they'll hang around. They just lost two or three of the Red Sox and two or three of the Royals. Uh, and that's the Orioles. I, they're kind of on the skirts right now. They've always kind of been on the skirts for me. But uh, they had a big Adam Jones contract announcement today, which is great for them. He's a big upcoming. Second in the American League in home runs. Yeah, he's having a great season. I don't know that he's the new Matt Kemp, which people want to say he is. I think he might be the new Tory Hunter, who he's going to have just one of those guys that does a little bit of everything for a long time. Um, so what do you know about this Adam Jones kid? Oh, guy's outstanding. Outstanding talent. Like I think he's going to be one of those. Like He's a five-tool guy, and I think you're going to see him displaying those five tools probably, you know, for an extended it's period It's good to time. see a guy sign a contract to keep him at home. He said all in the press conference how he loves Baltimore and he wants to be a part of the next championship team there. Right. Good for him. And I think you're going to see with the new collective, you know, bargaining agreement that you're going to see more players staying at least for the duration of their pre-free agency. I'm glad uh, you brought that up because we are going into a labor year. You know, a lot of people didn't really talk about baseball and the potential for a lockout or a strike, but we are coming up on a, after this season, I believe. I think they, no, I think they redid it. Yeah, it, it, they, it just, they just it redid it. See how quiet yeah. they got it right. done? Yeah. They got done during the uh, winter meetings last year. Very quiet. Good for, happy. Well, I think they, they, they learned from the right. last one. That was right. part of the whole uh, interleague thing that they talked about, and that was also part of the new collective bargaining agreement as far as the, uh, the international players, and there was a lot of different rule changes. Uh, number four team yeah, I yeah. have is the Rays. They've uh, won two or three from the Blue Jays and two or three from the Red Sox. So they're kind of uh, they are very steady. They're one of the teams that will probably always be flirting around that top five. They never get too high, never get too low. Even this whole Red Sox situation took two out of three. I think Joe Madden has shown that you know he's sort of the core head. He'll prevail because he he uh, he's just a, a smart thinker. He thinks outside the box. What are your thoughts, Kate, up on on Joe Madden? I, I love Joe Madden as a manager. He thinks clearly. He thinks outside the box. He gets the most out of his players, and I think that you know with a a manager who really he's a players manager. And he's getting the most out of his players. And I think that, you know, what more can you ask from out of a manager? Fred, Fernando Rodney, one of the most unsung players this year, had been a great yeah. closer. He blew off yeah. this weekend, one of his first ones. But they always seem to rebuild that bullpen and come back stronger. Who does he remind you of from the era that your dad played in, or a guy that you were around, you know, at, being at the ballpark all the time? Who does Madden remind you of? He, there is a guy that used to uh, manage the Angels and the Twins, I believe, named Gene Mock. Oh, yeah, 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 very familiar and, and he was kind of that kind of, but like from a different era. Sure, Because he sure. kind of had that discipline edge to him, and I think he caught a lot. He didn't get a lot of the credit that he deserved because, you know, clearly the Angels had that monumental collapse back in the 80s. You know, so, but he was always one of those kind of guys that got the most out of his players. You know, there were players that paid for the Angels that, you know, you know, you know made miraculous comebacks. You know, the Robbie Gritches and uh, uh, Doug DeSenseis and these kind of guys that <laughs> right. were, you know, and he literally got the most out of those players as he could. So I think that that's a, the closest parallel. That's great. That's a great comparison. All right, Andrew, let's look at number three. And this is from uh, the Astros division. Yeah, the NL Central. that's making their first appearance on your power rankings. The Reds. I picked them as my NL Central pick earlier in the season. They're on an 8-1 run right now. Todd Frazier, he one of the crazier home runs. I showed it to Adam earlier. Uh, you know, it was a kind of a no-handed home run, but do you see this? This yes. replay? Yes. Hey, they took two or three awesome. from the Yankees, four, awesome. four in a row from the Braves. So just seeing that alone has me starting to believe in them again. I think this Reds team is coming on strong at just the right time. And Brandon Phillips got a kind of got a sluggish start, but he's starting to pick it up uh, too. Uh, I think he's that dude uh, BP or something like that on, on, <laughs> yeah. on uh, Twitter. So yeah. he's a good follow. Definitely, Brandon Phillips is a hell of a ball player. Hell of a ball player. Um, you know. 
I don't think this is the big red machine by any accounts, but in a, no. in a division that's down like the Central, the Reds could very well come out and, and win that. And for a while, I had the Cardinals up there, but I think the Cincinnati Reds, it's going to be interesting yet again to see those teams go at it down the stretch. There you go. All right, number two team, the Astros just faced them over the weekend, and that is the Dodgers. They're 13-4 and four over their last 17 games. 13-4. and four. That's, Matt Kemp's been out. That's pretty damn good, and I think with Matt Kemp out, you know, it seems like Donnie Baseball is just making all the right moves. Today, he had Jerry Harrison Jr. batting third, which I highly question, but the guy went five for five today. <laughs> I mean, he's making literally all the right moves at all the right times. So he's both scratching his head and saying, what is that guy doing? Yeah, I mean, he's making great moves right now. I think they're without Matt Kemp, they're keeping it together. The pitching staff is still looking great, so I, I'm, I'm very excited to see what this Dodgers team has for the rest of the season. Hey, Dad, real quick, Dodgers for real? They're going to be there in the end? Oh, yeah. I think absolutely. You know, they've got solid pitching. They're solid up the middle. Um, I think you're going to see some of these role players step up and be more productive. I think you're going to see a really productive AJ season. AJ Ellis has been one of the best catchers in right. baseball. Right. I think you know. I think James Loney is going to is going to have a really big second half. You know, I've been talking to people about him, and, and you know, I just think that they're really solid. He is having an all time right. year. I don't, I don't know that this team year. is a great team that they're going to stick around in our top two all season, but I think that no one else in that division is going to catch them. San right. Francisco has regressed. Right. I think Tim Lincecum is still broken. The Do uh, Diamondbacks have not shown that that uh, medal that they should last year to win the division. All right, well, number one team, they've been holding strong, man. I don't even know if we need a drum roll because you guys really? already know who it is. It's the Rangers. Yeah. And, you know, we kept on saying, is everyone healthy? Well, at this point, no, not everyone is healthy. Neftali Felice is their first injury of the whole season. That's insane. Have you ever uh, heard something like that by I think June? I think that's how you show, that's how you yeah. stay number one for the whole, you know, right. to this point is, in the power rankings is you don't have, you have one injury and it's to a guy that you're basically your, your, Second or third, or maybe even fourth starter. It depends where you want to slot him. But came out of the bullpen after last they year. They can still go out and get Roy Oswalt. You know, yeah. I mean, th that's, this team is that strong. Their offense is just destroying other pitchers. I mean, today right. against, I think it was um, the Toronto. Toronto, Toronto is, play, yeah. well, I was, I was trying to think of the pitcher today. But if you have a bad day against them, I mean, it's it's just the wrong day to pick to have a bad day because this team will just. They'll jump all over you. Well, the they're, Rangers are for real. They're, they're, they're solid. Right That's here. the most solid one through nine batting order I've seen in quite a while. Yeah, absolutely. I, I have to agree with you there. Um, they're going to continue to put the ball in play. Oh, yeah. And I think, you know, as they make their second and third trips in the other cities, you're going to start seeing them take away series more. You're going to start, you know, it's gonna, they're, gonna, they're really in a position to dominate. They're for real. As, as the summer gets hotter, Adam, they're going to keep on warming up. I mean, oh, yeah. They are very, very legit. They want to they bring you into their web like a spider into Arlington Stadium, into Ranger Stadium, because they, they know how to play in the heat. Some of the other teams do not. No. Speaking of agree. heat, man, tell us just a, just a quick little second about how your dad was honored recently. Well, he, it's funny. He's actually had a couple of different uh, honors that have come by. And, uh, the, the, the big one, you know, is – coming from the Bat Foundation. Um, you know, he, a lot of people don't know, but he participated in the development of all the uh, inner city baseball academies sure, sure. around the nation. And so we've got one here in Acres Home. They've got one in Compton, California, and they've got a couple other in development. But, you know, he was recognized for being a, a, a spearhead behind bringing baseball back into the inner cities with his huh. team. There it is, Bob Watson himself, and that is K-Dub. You can find him on Twitter at the real K Dub. And uh, you got any shout outs tonight, Luis? Let me get your shout outs. Let's keep it moving down the table. I have a few shout outs. Shout out to Lamar Hunt, RIP. The U.S. Open Cup is named after Lamar Hunt. Without him, the rivalry that starts on Tuesday between the Scorpions and Dynamo wouldn't happen. So shout out to Lamar, Lamar Hunt, RIP. Shout out to the Bear Casuals that will be hosting me tailgating with them nice. on Tuesday. Nice. It's been on some low star for the show, yep. and I will have a present for us next week on the segment. So shout out to the Bear Casuals supporters group of the Scorpions. Very nice. Very nice. Kadoma, shout out Sundays. Man, shout out Miss Texas, Brittany Booker out yeah. there in Vegas. <laughs> I hope our host... Move that uh, dynamo. Move that dynamo. I hope, so our, I see. hope our host, Adam Rapp, can hook me up with Miss Texas so I can get a drop. Uh, from Miss Texas. Not one of those gentlemen called drops, but something we can actually play on the air. Yes, absolutely so. so. Uh, while absolutely. I'm out there in Vegas on Wednesday. So we shout out Miss Texas. Texas in the Miss USA competition this weekend, for sure. Go ahead, Andrew. Uh, shout out to Rice. They're one of three teams from the state of Texas. Baylor and A&M, the other ones. Uh, 
schools that are going to host a regional in the NCAA baseball, uh, basically the playoffs that are starting up soon. So Rice is going to be hosting one. I'll be out there trying to catch as many games as I can. We're really excited about Rice. They did not win the Conference USA Championship. Uh, it was between Memphis and someone else today. Wow. wow. But, I mean, hey, you know what? I'm excited about that. Another shout-out to Governor Chris Christie of New Jersey, who is going to fight to make sports gambling legal in the state of New Jersey. He's saying we're going to do it, and basically, you know, if you want to sue us, go ahead and start suing us because it's going to happen. His exact quotes were, if someone wants to stop us, then let them stop us. You know, so That's I'm excited about in the, the NFL. You know, they have a team out there in New Jersey, you know, well, two of them out there in the Meadowlands. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with this. But big shout-outs for him. Isn't to have Atlantic the, uh, City in New Jersey? They don't have a sports book in Atlantic City? But they're going to legalize basically all sports gambling. Wow. So they're going to wow. try to at least. So, I, you know, props out to you uh, and shouts out to Governor Chris Christie for taking on basically the man. There you go. Take on the man. If, and even if you are the man. Shout-out Sunday, Tito. I got a couple of shout-outs. First off, shout-outs to my boy Nando One. Happy birthday. Hey, hey. The Crates crew. We're going to be on the lot off of Washington, so everybody's more than welcome to come out there. Once again, the lot off of Washington. We're celebrating his birthday. Shout out to Wingaritas for holding it down. The Scion Expo outside today. Got a chance to go out there DJ that for a bit. Nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, and also, shout out to Andrew Martinez for being exactly right. <laughs> why OKC is not winning this game. <laughs> or this series. I'm not saying this series. I'm saying this game. All right. They'll figure it out. All right. Well, shout out to my cousin Nick. You guys know him as Bub. He has been a Rat Pack staple by blood for my entire life. After recovering from a gunshot wound to the arm after three young punks in Austin, Texas decided to test fate. Well, as fate would have it, the faith and love of my Aunt Patty and my Uncle Tim were stronger than any bullet. And he's going to make a full physical recovery. But yeah, they were trying to ride around and get it. And they shot my cousin in the arm. And I'm going to go looking for these cats in Austin, believe me, because you don't, you don't shoot Rat Pack and get away with it. Shout out to Rufus Rufy from the hit TV show LA Inc. As we got to stop by her booth at the Tattoo and Body Art Convention at Reliance Center. She's a very nice young lady and uh, we had a little bit of fun with her out there and uh, while Tattoo Drew got coyed up. And shout out to Blaze Ginsburg for the upcoming release of his new book. Looking forward to that. We'll tell you more about it as we go. And shout out to our team for always shooting with us in the gym. We took all the time away from there. They loved ones to be out here with us on the Memorial Day weekend. And shout out to Miss Dario Franchitti, Ashley Judd, for a celebration of not only a national championship for the Wildcats, but now the Indy 500 crown with her husband. And big shout out to the big show on Sports Talk 790 with Matt, Adam, and Lance. Make sure you guys keep it locked in at 6 a.m. tomorrow morning for that and in the trenches with Cook and Kalu. We'll see you guys on Thursday. Until then, that's a wrap. That's a wrap, bitches.